guys and welcome back to my channel today we are doing a get it all done video I know I usually upload these videos on Sundays at Tiffany's but I thought it'd be a nice little treat for a Tuesday kind of change it up a little bit um, so today we're doing a get it all done video I have a lot of things to do uh, my closet I'm gonna start with because it is the thing that I'm dreading the most and it's actually really embarrassing but for those of you who don't know when you're seeing this I will be 16 weeks pregnant so officially nothing fits and I've kind of just been trying things on and throwing them on my floor and all that so um, I've basically just been closing my closet door and ignoring the hot mess that it is so I'm gonna be going through my clothes first so when we're done my closet it should be time to pick up my groceries and we'll do like a grocery haul um, a little bit of like ingredient prep and a yummy crock pot meal and then a bunch of other stuff that we have to get into but first let's just get started on the closet because it's probably been like this for a good two weeks I can't even find like anything to wear but let me show you the before so basically I've just been throwing stuff down here kind of living through these laundry baskets instead of putting my clothes away like a bad girl um and like I said I can't find anything I just have like accessories laying around some makeup it's just it's time to take care of this and do some organization and some decluttering since probably about at least 80% of this stuff doesn't fit me right now. So I'm excited. I got a container from Target. I'm gonna put some clothes away until I'm no longer pregnant. And yeah, let's get into it. So I absolutely love how everything came out. You can see what I did with the tank tops here. I just did them by colors and this just pushes right back in just to, you know, keep it more organized. Everything here is hung up and color coded. Now I just need to find a solution for my hats. Yeah, 
that's not gonna work. All right, so now that I went through everything, I just feel like I kind of know what I need, what I don't need, and I'm really excited because I just got my Thread Up goodie box. Love that polka dot packaging whenever I see it on my doorstep, but you guys know I order from Thread Up all the time. Everyone was just asking about my dress on my stories the other day and I was telling everybody it's from ThreadUp. If you don't know what ThreadUp is, ThreadUp is the world's largest online thrift store with up to 90% off of retail prices. I've always loved ThreadUp just because it's incredibly easy to use just by using filters. Um, for example, I would pick like what brand, my size, item condition. I usually pick like new or new with tags and go from there so it just saves a lot of time. But they're goodie boxes. I'm so excited to finally try one because it's my first one. All I did was take a little style quiz um, I, you know, put in my weight and height and sizes and things like that, but I also put in like what I look for in clothes, like kind of casual. You can also leave a little note um, down below, like anything you want them to know. And I was like, I'm pregnant. So with the goodie box, a stylist will pick out 10 items for you based on your style quiz. You can pick, like I said, I chose my size. I told them I was pregnant. I said my style is a little bit more casual. There's a ton of questions for you to fill out because the more you fill out, the better they know your style, like favorite brands and things like that. And of course you can pick your budget as well. Um, but first it charges your credit card $10, which by the way, I have a special offer. So make sure you check my description box down below i'll have a link in the offer and all the information there and i'll put it on screen here as well but um you never get charged for any of the items unless you decide to keep them it comes with a prepaid shipping label right in the box which makes it incredibly easy but i'm so excited let's see what i got also i just want to clarify it's not a subscription box it's like a once and done thing you just order what you want when you want it um and like i said they only charge you for what you keep Great, so let's see what we got here leopard that makes me happy already look at this cute little leopard tank top oh wait this is new with tags too from Tarte collections this is really really cute um it's new with tags from nordstrom rack it was the estimated retail value was $24.97 right up price is only $10.99 i love when it has like i forget what it's called but when the cut is above here so then it stops and kind of just accentuates your bump. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and lay everything out on my bed. I'm already ex really, really happy and excited about the first item. I have a good feeling that I'll be keeping this one. Okay, so here is everything laid out. I got a couple of dresses, some tops, um, two pairs of active pants, and some maternity shorts. Because I did say on my style quiz, um, you know, that I like to wear like athletic wear as well. So let's try some of these things on. I already have favorites picked out in my mind, so let's see how they okay, fit. So here's that first top I was talking about. This is from Nordstrom. It was new with tags. The estimated retail value was $24, and I got it for only $10.99. I think I'm gonna have to keep this one. What do you guys think? Because I can totally see this going all the way to 40 weeks with me. So I love this dress as well. This is a Freedom Trails dress. The estimated retail value was around $48, and I got it for only $15.99. I really feel like I should keep this one too because it's so soft and just easy. Just dresses are perfect for summer and for pregnancy. Next is an old navy tank top that I'm definitely keeping as well. Um, wow, the thunder is really loud. Did you hear that? Oh my goodness. I hope my kids stay napping through that. But this is an old navy top. Um, the estimated retail value is $24.99 and I got it for only $9.99. I really, really love this color for summer and I also love that it's really long because then you know it'll grow with your bump this next top i love um this detailing right in the v-neck but this is new with tags from american eagle and that was one of the brands that i put in my style quiz because i get a lot of stuff from american eagle but again this is like nice and baggy so it can grow with my bump and i really like that it's new with tags the material is really soft you can't go wrong with a white tee the estimated retail value for this one um, was $35, and I got it for only $12.99, and again, it's American Eagle, and it's new with tags, so that's a really good price. Okay, and then this last piece that I'm trying on is from Motherhood Maternity. I really like how it accentuates the bump. It's like a little um, blouse that's just nice and flowy. I think it would go really cute with like some white jeans or some white shorts. This was originally um, $36, and I got it for only $20.99. What do you think? Should I keep this? So I am incredibly happy with my goodie box and I'm excited that my closet is clean and I have a couple extra items to add to kind of get me 
through this summer and my pregnancy. So if you want to check out ThreadUp's goodie boxes, just use the link in my description box. I'll also put it on screen here, but it's threadup.com slash Tiffany. So that'll save you $10 and get you a no deposit goodie box. So again, threadup.com slash Tiffany, and I'll remind you again at the end of this video. All right, so luckily that storm didn't wake up Tanner or Ella, and Carter and I, He's enjoying a banana. We are going to pick up our groceries, but we also have a Target pickup, which surprisingly only has one item, and that's a toy that I let him pick out um, because he was such a boss yesterday at his dentist appointment, and he's just been amazing. Right, buddy? You deserve it. So we're gonna go pick up those two things. I think I'm gonna treat myself to some iced coffee. Well, actually, iced coffee is from Holly, one of my local, amazing supporters. I met her before at Starbucks, um, but she sent me like a coffee, so I thought that was really, really nice. Anyway, that's our plan right now. When we get home, we'll produce prep, and um, wow, it's already pretty late. It's already 2.20, um, and then I guess I'll throw all that stuff in the crock pot, but my crock pot's pretty powerful, so probably won't take that long. Got my coffee, medium iced from Dunkin', no sweetener, with one pump of coconut my favorite summer coffee. All right, we got it. You guys have to see his face. <laughs> Whoa, it's even bigger in real life. You still gonna share it with Tanner? You in shock? <laughs> this morning when he picked it out, he said, Tanner, you could have the little one that comes with it, which I thought was really sweet. Huh, buddy? Sharing is caring. We share everything. All right, now let me figure out how to get it out of the box. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you happy? All right, let's go get our groceries. Now we're here to pick up our groceries. It is 2.53. Okay, so we are home now. I just unloaded everything and tried to make it like make sense for my haul to be somewhat in order, but I'm also like kind of in a time crunch. It's a little bit later than I want it to. Um, get dinner started in the crock pot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you really quick what I got. Okay, so if you're vegan, don't watch this portion. So for the meat, I've really been liking um, this chicken sausage. So this one is sweet apple. This one is sweet Italian. Um, of course, hot dogs for the kids. Um, kabasi, some honey turkey. And then I got two things of ground turkey, two things of chicken thighs, and two things of chicken breast. Um, two cans of diced tomatoes. I have um, a crock pot veggie soup that I want to try out. Crushed pineapple for tonight's meal. And then this pineapple juice is also for tonight's meal. I got some grape Powerade, orange juice, unsweetened iced tea because I like to sweeten my own iced tea. Tostitos, gluten-free bread, some eggs. Um, these are like my favorite right now. They really help me a lot with just like, you know, in between meals as like a little snack. Um, but these are the raspberry fig bars. I still have some of the blueberry ones left and they're gluten free. Um, this sparkling water is like watermelon and lime. I also really like that this pregnancy it helps with nausea. I got the kids some um, of these Honest Kids uh, deuce pouches and we'll just use these like if we go to the pool and things like that. Um, this is like a treat for them. They usually just have water in their cup. A Greek yogurt, vegetable stock, two things of tomato basil soup. I love that. Um, whipped cream, of course. Coconut milk, two things a half and half. We got some maple syrup, some cashew butter. Now I'm just gonna get into my produce. Sorry guys, this is kind of all over the place because I'm in a rush. Um, garden salad, spinach, Broccoli and cauliflower, sugar snap peas are for Tanner and I. We love just eating them like this. Um, apples, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, some great tomatoes. These are for me because nobody else likes them, but I really like to just like have these as a snack with some hummus. Watermelon, because watermelon is life in the summertime, but also when I'm pregnant with girls, those girls like watermelon. Rice checks, applesauce pouches with cinnamon. I thought these would be like a nice little side to their meals. Just they're just diced peaches and they're in fruit juice. They're not in like the thick syrup. And then same with the mandarin oranges. We used to get these all the time from BJ's, 
but like we gave them a little bit of a break from them. And those are also in fruit juice. This is for easy meal prep lunches for Chris and I. Um, just Spanish salad rice with quinoa, peppers, and corn. Ranch seasoning, because ranch seasoning. <laughs> this I have to laugh at. Your Instacart experience is completely based on who is doing your order because I always like just like order the same thing comes up in your history and I always get two big bunches of bananas and they literally gave me two bananas so I can't I cannot <laughs> um, but it could be worse I could be going in the store and shopping for everything so I'll be grateful um, you know I love my fresh herbs in the kitchen cilantro some parsley some basil I do um, usually like to do an herb garden but last year it was like it lasted for like a week and then just a huge fail. Oh my gosh, it sounds like my kids are bowling in the playroom. So the basil, I showed you that. Yellow potatoes, you know, they're good for everything, but this is actually for my veggie soup that I plan on making. And then of course, some fresh flowers. Just need like a little pick me up right now. Some bright yellow flowers. I love sunflowers.
All right, so now that that's all done, it's really loud in my house right now, so sorry. Um, I put a couple of chicken breasts and some chicken thighs in here just to get like both textures. Um, and we are making a pineapple chicken. So you need a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple with the juices drained and you're gonna save those juices for later. So I'm just doing it right into this. You're also gonna do a one cup of pineapple juice. Pouring the juices in over top. And now those crushed pineapple. A half cup of chicken broth. One fourth cup of brown sugar. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. And we always get Le Choy just because it's gluten free and always has been, so this is what we use. And then I'm doing three cloves of garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that all around. So it really doesn't matter at all what order you do everything in. Okay, baby girl. <laughs> You're so silly. So I'm just gonna cover this and I'm just gonna do it. Again, my um, crock pot is very powerful. So I'm gonna do it on high for two hours. And I have this parsley for later for when it's cooked. This little amount of pineapple juice from the canned pineapple and then some cornstarch. So we'll put this stuff in within the last 30 minutes. Hey guys, so I'm on day two of Get It All Done. I'm out of breath from walking up the stairs, it's crazy. Um, but the last and final thing I'm gonna do today is just go ahead and clean my room. Um, I usually do a lot more than this, but I have so many things coming up with this week being Carter's birthday party, so I'm gonna be doing like a party prep video and a cleaning video, so that's I'm kinda like saving it, but my room is neglected, I don't know who can relate. What is the most neglected room in your house? Mine is 100% my bedroom, so I'm gonna work on that today. So let's get right into it. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that. And still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought it's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Keep moving like the river go 
toes, baby going down, 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 baby going down, 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 down. And I thought it's time I'm letting you go. This time I know it for sure. Just thought I should let you know. so good to have my room clean thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to check out the link in my description box it's threadup.com slash tiffany for your ten dollar off no deposit goodie box Yeah.